hello everyone welcome back to my channel today we're going to be making this amazing mild watering tasty peppered fish just look at that look at how delicious that looks let me tell you this didn't even take long to make but it tasted so so good and i'm so so excited to share this recipe with you guys ingredients are going to be red bell peppers scotch bonnet because we definitely need that heat onions parsley ginger garlic onion powder some salt some maggie cubes ginger powder and garlic powder and finally our fish i'm going to be using tilapia fish but you can use any fish of your choice i'm just going to be cutting the fish like you see me doing right now to be cutting the fish heads off because I don't really like fish heads but this is optional if you love the fish heads go ahead and leave them and use them as you can see I just washed the fish and now I'm going to be putting all my dry seasoning which are the ginger powder the garlic powder the onion powder my salt and my maggie cubes as well I put in three maggie cubes and half a teaspoon of salt for the other ones I didn't really measure I was just throwing it inside for real <laughs> just use your eyes to measure Once I'm done putting all the dry spices in the fish, I'm just going to be using my fingers to really really distribute the spices in the fish. The reason why I'm not using a spoon is because a spoon will not really distribute the spice like my fingers will. Because here I'm really like pressing the spices inside with my fingers and making sure they really go inside the fish. So I'm done, I'm just going to cover the fish with a plastic wrap and put it in the fridge so all the spices can marinate inside. I'll be putting it in the fridge for 10 minutes. While it's in the fridge, I'm going to be preparing all my other spices. These are the spices that I had mentioned earlier on in the video. I'm just going to clean them up and wash them and then blend them as well. cleaning the spices the oil to fry the fish was already on the fire getting hot and now it's hot so i'm going to be adding my fish inside be very careful because one this oil is very hot and two the fish has water and you know water and hot oil don't really go well together i know you don't want to get burned so be very very careful While the fish is frying on the other side, I'm going to be using the other side to fry my sauce. This is a pot with a little bit of canola oil inside. I'm just going to be putting half an onions already chopped inside. I like frying my onions first because it gives the entire food such an amazing flavor. Once the onions has fried and it's starting to turn brown, I'm just going to be adding all my blended ingredients. These are the bell peppers, the onions, the garlic, the scotch bonnet, and all the other ingredients that I had listed earlier on. Once I put it inside, I'm just going to stir it. After the fish frying for 10 minutes, I'm just going to flip the sides over. Let me tell you, this is my worst thing about frying fish because fish is very, very disrespectful. This thing almost burns me, but it's okay. I will eat it afterwards. <laughs> How the other side of the fish is frying, you're going to be checking in on your sauce. This is a time where you really get to multi-tax because you're checking the fish and you're also checking your sauce.
After 10 minutes of the fish frying on the other side, we're just going to remove it. Mind you, so the fish has been frying for 20 minutes together. Both sides, 10 and 10, that makes 20 minutes. So you're going to be frying your fish for 20 minutes. Once the 20 minutes is out, you're going to take the fish out. I didn't want it to be really dry. I wanted it to be moist so our sauce can really penetrate inside the fish. I forgot to mention our sauce is frying on medium heat. For say the highest on your stove is 10, you should be frying it on 5, that's medium. That way it won't get too burnt at the bottom. And as you can see the sauce is getting thick, that means it's almost ready. After about 12 minutes of the sauce frying, it's ready. You can tell it's ready when you see all the oil start coming up. I added 3 more Maggi cubes and also half a teaspoon of salt. Once you have added the maggi and also the salt in the pot, go ahead and place your fish in the pot. Be very gentle because you don't want the fish to be broken. Once you have put the fish in the pot, go ahead and like mix everything together. Also be gentle again because you don't want the fish to be broken. This way you are just distributing the sauce to the fish. After distributing it, you are just going to let the fish cook a little bit for like 5 more minutes. That way all the sauces can marinate inside the fish. Mind you, you don't have to close the pot, just leave it open on medium heat as well. After 5 minutes of the fish being in the sauce, everything is ready. Wow, just look at that. I'm going to be eating mine with fried plantains aka dodo but you can go ahead and eat it with anything. I also tried it with fried rice and it was so 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 amazing. You can also go ahead and eat it with white rice or anything of your choice. Thank you so so much for watching this video. Make sure you like, share, comment and subscribe. Until next time, thank you. Also, the green things you see on the fish is the celery. So once the fish was done, I chopped the celery very tiny and then I put it on top of the fish for an extra flavor.